Joe Novak? I'm sorry, but my family is off limits to Finelli at five. Well, then off the record. Who do you think wants to kill him, Max? I don't say or do anything that can't be quoted. And I think you should do the same. Oh, but if we were all as careful as you are, where would the great Max de Bujac be today? Mm -hmm. You're being very reckless, Sidney. I'm just looking for an angle for my show. Well, don't work so hard. Just follow my lead. I wish I could. Meaning? Meaning I don't know what you're after. I don't know what you want. Okay. I'm going to feed you carefully selected information for Jack Finelli. Isn't that clear enough? No. Okay, so Jack goes on the air, he makes false statements without you, at my recommendation, and then what? That depends. On what? On what suits me. Oh, great. Now sit there smirking, Max. You know, if you're going after Jack Finelli, you are going about it all wrong. This kind of publicity will make him. And if it's me you're after, isn't that a little uh, self-destructive? Aren't I your creation? Wouldn't you be destroying what you made? Sidney, do you have a death wish? Do you think you can browbeat me into making revelations to me? I'm sorry if it looked that way. Good. Select your next question carefully. You're only inches away from being the star of a private showing for Jack Finelli. When somebody left the cap off the toothpaste, I think I... Well, I didn't... Uh... I know. You didn't expect me. No, I thought Jonna was in here. I didn't know you were still home, Frank. Mama called, said the coast was clear. Don't worry, I'm not staying long. I'm due at Mr. Dubuzak's office soon. Well, no, you can stay as long as you like. You're allowed to see your mother. <laughs> Just as long as Jill doesn't see me, right? Maggie. She is gone, isn't she? Uh -huh. She left for the office earlier. So you being a house person today? What's in the box? What's the soft ring? For Jill. No, for Mama. I miss Mother's Day. What's keeping you so busy? You don't have to make polite conversation with me, Frank. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. I know you don't want me in this house. something to Jillian, too. Well, you'll have to give her some time. And what's she going to give me, Frank? Nothing if I'm lucky. Look. It's over for us, okay? Look, Maggie, Jill is a very generous person. I'm sure if you just give her a little room, no she'll calm down. No woman is generous about her man, Frank. You can't have both of us. You made your choice tonight. She threw me out. Now you're making a very difficult situation even worse. Oh, no. No, it's not so terrible. I got to tell Jill a few things I've been meaning to say to her like the way she's ignoring her son. I can take care of my own son. No. Not if your wife won't make a home for him. Maggie! Oh, Donald. Hi. I missed you. Oh, good, because I missed you more. Don't worry. She's not here. She hates me, too. Who hates who? Whom? Who? Jono thinks Jill hates him. What do you think about that, Maggie? You tell Maggie. She's got him fooled. Yeah. Go ahead and tell him.
Otherwise, not take you less than You better help me. I'll hold down the fort, you know I will. But don't worry yourself out. Oh, thanks. <laughs> hey, you looking for something that you can't find? Hi. There you are. Uh, Tim Forrest? Rock Fever? Oh, yeah, the stage manager. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, you see so many of us, we probably just blur before your eyes, huh? Don't rub it in. Don't put me on. What are you doing here? Maybe I'm looking for a bagel and cream cheese. I was worried about you. Oh, sure. You, uh, being interviewed? Why, no, not really. Uh-huh. Of course not. Hey, you are talking to a celebrity man. But she's gonna leave all this to death on a rock fever. Can I get your table? <clears throat> you uh, told the gang you got it, right? I thought you might. Don't squeal on me, okay? Please, lunch will be on me. Hey, I know where you're coming from. I told you I was the stage manager, right? And you're not? Well, then who are you? I made a bargain with you, man. Tell me what you want. All right. You can start with this. These are your American holdings. Jack is interested in international. Distract him. He's not a lap dog. Oh, you can do it, Sydney. I mean, you certainly have enough incentive. More than enough. But you have to help me. You don't know what you're asking. When I assign a task, I expect it to be carried out. I certainly don't expect complaining and whining. All right, is it self-fabrication? Well, there's enough truth there to make the lies easy to swallow. You know, Jack's no fool. Neither am I. Why do you want to set up a libel action against WTJ? All you need to know is what I want, not why. You can't blame me for wondering how I'm being used. No, I expect you to take it all on faith. In what? In me. As you pointed out, there's no real danger for Jack Finelli. And you don't care about WTJ. So what's the point? Why spend all this money to do this? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe uh, in the end I won't make use of your services. Maybe I'll let Jack Finelli go on the air, televise all that material, and not do anything about it. Then why not wait till you're sure? Well, who said I wasn't sure? Hmm? I want you in place, Sydney, and that's the end of it. Of course. Since you're not going after any of the obvious people, it must be someone who doesn't suspect a thing. Someone like Hutch. <laughs> Poor Hutch. What would I have against him, really? He's been doing all your dirty work for quite a while, Max. Maybe he knows too much. Maybe this is your idea of a little retirement dinner for him. But, Sydney, I'm not angry at him. You are. Remember that he didn't make those tapes with me. Mm -hmm.